Okay, Jake from Farmer Jack Joke here. Thanks for all of the guys watching this. Uh, I'm standing here today on the beach doing a bit of uh, filming for you guys, telling you guys a little bit of what have we've done last week. Excuse me for having sunglasses on, the sun is shining right in my face. I'm sure you guys will get the message that I would like to convey. So, yes, as we've done last week, I'm doing this week again. I'm telling you a little bit of what we've created last week. And the basis of these videos is, yes, of course, to promote our content because it's important that uh, you promote your content. It costs a lot of time and it costs a lot of money generating content. And like I said previously, for the guys who watch my actual raw videos, I'm standing here, I'm talking, I don't cut any of this. Uh, I'm telling you exactly how it is. Content creation is not easy. Content creation is not simple. And content creation is not cheap. Uh, I'm doing it, th this type of video that I'm doing, I'm doing it as cheap as possible. I drive to a location or I walk to a location. I've got a little stand. I've got my mobile phone. So I don't have to spend money on expensive equipment. That is just for making this form of the video. But the content that we are actually generating and our future content for our second channel, which we hope to kick off within the next month, is expensive. Creating content is expensive. Having laptops, having software, having video editors. If you want to have a chance of generating, writing it well, it's going to cost you money. There's nothing in life that doesn't cost anything. It's going to cost you a lot of time, a lot of effort. And you do all of those for no guarantees there's no guarantees that you're gonna get views out of this so it is your job to promote your content yourself and this is why i make this video to try and promote my own content people can see who i am for those guys who don't know me i'm jacques Utsia. my channel is called jokes by farmer jack or farmer jack jokes it's jack because it just sounds better than jacques i do stay on a farm and i tell jokes Okay, so quickly a recap of what we've done last week. Last week we have done a couple of long form videos. And when I say long form videos, this is our funny story jokes. The way we call it in the funny story jokes, about four, sometimes five minutes. And it's just telling a story, which is still a joke. We've still got a punchline. Yeah, so we do those and then we do shorts. Shorts is more for cell phones. So, uh, yes, we do shorts every week as well. So last week we've done a couple of long form videos. And then we've done a couple of shorts and in between in our channel we obviously do compilations of some of our previous videos put it out uh, a lot of guys actually like to go sit down and watch for our 50 jokes one after the other which have been generated by us through the years so yes first the uh, the uh, longer form of the story jokes we've generated last week was the first joke was a joke about a hangover and i specifically I specifically stand on the, there's a plane coming over here. I specifically stand on the camera towards the right so that I keep this space here on the left where I can put some of the snapshots of the videos up. And hopefully, if you guys like the joke, go have a look at the video, you know, and go have a look at the whole full video and see how we've made it, you know. And I think it is good enough that it's not going to waste your time. I think it's good enough that you're actually going to sit back and enjoy it. So the first joke we've uh, done last week is a joke about a cure for hangover so this guy he uh, wake up once morning and when he wakes up he uh, as he wakes up he has got an extreme hangover and what he normally gets when he had a previous night out partying with the boys like many men have he's got a very angry wife which is not happy with him at all and uh, what he obviously wants is he, or, or what he expects is that this is going to be normal for him. Unfortunately, or fortunately for him, things turn out a bit better. There's no angry wife. There's a nice uh, letter on the side of his bed saying, you know, honey, I went out to buy some groceries. Your breakfast is on the table. Everything is just like... The first thought that goes through this guy's mind is that he died and he wakes up an alternative universe because the universe he knows... Unfortunately, it doesn't deal with a man with a hangover like that. So yes, as I'll flash these pieces of the video here, the man then walks down to the breakfast table, he goes to the breakfast table, and everything is perfect. It's like the, the wife was very happy that he marched into the house, falling into the house, 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, still not sure what happened. And his son sits there and he says to his boy, and he obviously doesn't want to draw to the fact that 
you know, he, uh, he had a terrible night and he was expecting something different. So he asked his boy, are you okay, my boy? The boy said, no, dad, I'm lacquer. He said, so what happened last night? And the boy said to him, you know, as usual, you walked, in, you stumbled into the house at three o'clock in the morning. You peed in the passage, you know, so obviously you don't expect anyone to be happy with your behavior when you come here drunk in the middle of the night. And uh, the, the guy gets to the realization that he haven't died yet because those are still things which he relates to as being normal. And uh, he said, your mother, what happened then? And the son just laughed. He said, well, that's a, that was quite a different story, he said. Mom dragged you up to the bedroom and she wanted to take your clothes off, undress you, to put you in bed in the state that you were. And what you told mom was, woman, please leave me alone. I love my wife. So uh, that was very impressive to his wife and that's why he uh, woke up in that state. And everything was the perfect condition. But the joke itself is very good. Please go to our channel, watch the joke. I think you will really enjoy it. We won't waste your time. I think it's worth it. The second long story joke that we uh, that we did last week. Uh, let me quickly have a look here. It's about, and I'm not going to go through all of it, but it's about a, my, a man's final wishes. So this gentleman is lying on his deathbed. And him and his wife have been married through all the years. And... As it is, this is the, the clips you will see there on the side. As it is, his wife uh, has always been an extremely moody person. She wasn't the person that always treated him well. She was always uh, uh, treated him bad. But he, on the other hand, lived a life where he was happy, a happy guy. People loved him. People loved being around him. So now, the basis of this joke is he lies on his deathbed. And as being on his deathbed, uh, he calls his wife and he said, Honey, I would like to have a five-minute chat with you. As he has this five-minute chat with his wife, his wife obviously says, As long as you make this quick and don't spill the tea on the cushions. You know, the typical, the way she was. He says, Honey, I would like you to make a promise to me. I would like you to be okay once I pass away, which is obviously something all of our men would really like to be, that your family is okay by the time you die, but he obviously wants his wife to be okay by the time he dies. And the wife is very impressed and she said, I thank you very much, you know, obviously. Yeah. He said, what I would like you to do as soon as I die, I would like you to go marry my best friend, Joe. He said, but you hate Joe, why would you like me to go marry Joe? You know, you hate that guy. You cannot take him. I know he's your best friend. Why would you like me to go marry Joe? He says, exactly. I would like you to go marry Joe. So because I want him for the rest of his life to have a miserable life. Okay, so that's the basis of our second joke that we've told last week. Have a look at some of the snapshots here. Please go have a look at the video. The video, I think, like I say, I think it was worth it. And I think it's not wasting your time. Spend your four minutes. Watch it. Give us a comment. Give us a like. I think it's worth every while. Then there's some other uh, uh, funny stories that we've made long uh, last week as well. You will see that all of, and, and through all our funny stories, it takes a similar, a similar, it's a similar time for a video, probably four minutes. On weekends, we'll stick out compilations because some people do like to watch, you know, perhaps a half an hour or whatever of videos. So we do make compilations at least. Then the shorts that we've made last week, the shorts obviously being mobile phone driven. Uh, We've done a couple of shorts like we of I'm not gonna talk about all of them, but there's uh, three of them I quickly want to mention to you. And what I would like to do is I would like to end this video by going into one of the shorts. And I'm just gonna touch on two of them quickly. The first short is about a parrot in a plane, where the guy gets his seat in the plane. He uh, he gets his seat in the plane and next to him sits a parrot. And as the uh, air hostess comes up to him, he would like to order a cup of coffee. The parrot chips in and said, give me a glass of whiskey, you idiot, you fool. And the guy was so surprised that this parrot talks with the air hostess in such a way. So she quickly runs, brings the guy a glass of whiskey. Now he's still sitting there waiting for his cup of coffee. 
And as he says, you know, I'm still waiting for my cup of coffee. The parrot slams the glass down. He says, listen here, you idiot, you fool. Get me another glass of whiskey. And the waiter is around. Doesn't want to have any issues there. So he brings him another glass of whiskey. Now the guy thinks, you know, I know there's a parrot next to me who just want to have a bit of his whiskey. But I still want my cup of coffee. So he thought, let me take the approach of the parrot. So he says, listen here, you fool, you idiot. I've been asking for a cup of coffee. Go get me my cup of coffee. So as these two are obviously abusing this air hostess, two security personnel that is part of this plane as they are in the air came up to them, grabbed them, and threw them out of the plane. So as they fall down, the parrot looked at this guy and says, you know, I must have a lot of respect for you. Because for a guy who haven't even got wings, he can't even fly. You pretty, uh, pretty stubborn enough to make uh, the guy throw you out of a plane without having wings. I don't know how you're going to fly. Anyway, that was the basis of the first short that I'm going to discuss today. The short I'm going to go out with uh, uh, is uh, a little joke about the memory stick. The joke about this guy's child who swallowed his memory stick. So this guy and his buddy were sitting in a bar, they were in a bar every week, like clockwork, and uh, this week, this guy's friend don't pitch in the bar. So obviously, something big must be wrong. So he climbed to the plane, he phoned this guy, and they just say, hey buddy, you know, what's wrong? Something big must have happened that you don't make it to our weekly meeting in the bar. The guy says, you know, I, uh, I, uh, Unfortunately, I've got a problem at home, you know, my child has swallowed my memory stick. And since he swallowed the memory stick, he's been singing all the songs that's on the memory stick. Well, his buddy the pop said, well, that's, that, that's nice, you know, what's the issue? Guy says, I'm sitting here watching a child because I'm just scared that as he goes through that memory stick, he makes it to my videos. So, okay, that was the basis of the second short. So, one of the shorts I'm going to end up with. Thank you very much for watching us. Thank you very much for being with Farmer Jack Jokes. Enjoy your week. Have a lovely uh, uh, week. And continue watching our content. Thank you very much for all of you guys. You wonderful supporters. Have a lovely week. Thanks by Farmer Jack Jokes. Love you guys all. Cheers, bye. Now, here is a nice joke about a memory stick. This guy and his friend used to meet in the pub for a beer once a week on the same evening. No matter what happens, they will have their weekly meeting. However, this week, the friend did not pitch for the weekly beer at the pub, and the guy knew that something big must have happened. So, he phoned his friend. The friend said that he is watching his boy, who swallowed his memory stick over the weekend. Since then, the boy has been singing all the songs that were on the memory stick. The guy said that it does not seem to be such a big problem then. His friend replied that he is watching the boy to ensure he does not get to his videos. <laughs>